it's your girl, Christina Carmel, and we are back. This is VIP Unlocked, but with a little bit of a twist because we are back home right here in Accra, Ghana. And what a way to start off. We've got a special, special, special guest. I'm so excited. Mr. Kofi Jamar. Yeah, He's in what's the building. Up? What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You feeling good? Yeah. You got yeah. here all right? Everything was good? Yeah, everything is cool. Okay, yeah. so we're going to take it back. So obviously, we've had an interview before. Yeah, yeah. But you grew up in Kumasi. Yeah. How was that for you? Well, growing up in Kumasi is quite an experience, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it have a good and bad side. But yeah, you know, I love it. Yeah, it's been, it's been good so far. What, what were the, like, bad sides, would you say? Or the well, difficulties, should you say, like that? Well, I would say, like, um, me, like trying uh, industry wise trying mm. to pursue this music career like you got you got a lot of like downfalls and pitfalls in there because it, it's hard for you to be heard when you're in Kumasi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah true. it's kind of like it's hard because we don't have that enough like we are not hugely invested in the uh, music industry like the craft and mm. uh, yeah and uh, like financial wise also mm. and amenities facilities we don't have TV stations like in Kumasi, like it's in Accra. Yeah, you don't have as many. Yeah, and it's not major. Really? Accra have all the major stations that will be showing across, but Kumasi is like just little suburb, small, small. yeah. So. so then, so did you, when you were like doing your building to get into the music industry, yep. did you um, have to go to all the little, start off with the little smaller radio stations yeah. first, or did you just move straight to Accra? Yeah, I started off first, like, in okay. Kumasi. So I, was, I even had songs that were, like, famous in Kumasi that was mm. much heard out there, and I, I was performing from shows to shows, you know? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't, like, quite as big as this. Yeah, well, like, being like, in a car here to yeah. do it on a larger scale. But around that time, yeah, I was coping with it, you know? Mm. Yeah. I feel like, though, with, like, obviously everybody knows you for your big hit, yeah. Ecoso. Um, And I say, like... It just blew so quickly and so fast. Yeah. Like, but how was that for you, honestly? Because as much as it's exciting and it's all good and yeah, yeah we've blown, we don't yeah. blow for this mm -hmm. pressure. Let's be honest, it's pressure. True. Yeah. So how was that really for you? And how did you like feel, honestly? Well, <clears throat> I didn't expect it at that time because mm -hmm. I dropped an EP recently. Mm. And I, yeah, I also released a remix with Stoneboy. So, it was, I wasn't that, like, it wasn't a planting. We just decided to drop it mm -hmm. and boom, it took off. So I wasn't really quite prepared for that mentally mm. and physically, and but I had to just ride along with it. That was the difficulty mm. in it. You like, yeah, riding along with it. You weren't, I wasn't like hugely psyched for that. Yeah. 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 Do you know what? That's big facts, you know, because people don't talk about the mental side yeah. of blowing up. Everybody wants to blow. Yeah, true. But then when you blow, pressure. There's a lot, there's a lot it's of work, a lot. yeah. And as much as everybody acts like, oh, it's happy, 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 but constant interviews, radio interviews, TV, you're in demand. You wouldn't even get time to do your own stuff that you want to do. Because everybody want a piece of you. Mm. Yeah, they want to suck you dry. That's how it is. <laughs> it's true. Before you know you. It's big facts. You have nothing doing. Yeah, crazy. It's, so how do you find like time for yourself? How have you kind of trained yourself mentally to put yourself first? I think I'm not perfect though. I'm still in my learning process, you know. Yeah. It's not like having like been famous for over years, mm. you know. This like I just get got a got a taste of it, so it's like I'm now trying to handle it well. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it it goes as it, as it comes, you know. Yeah. I, it's not like pre-planned or pre-programmed. Mm -hmm. But as I'm going through the interviews, I I still try to find time for myself. Yeah. Yeah. So the little time that I get, I try to make it count in whatever whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a gradual process for me. So in, in those times where you're just kind of for yourself, what are you doing during those times? Well, most times trying to record music, trying to get ideas out. Mm -hmm. And most times also listening to music and just being by myself. And traveling. Yes. <laughs> With your baby. Because <laughs> most, <times, laughs> most times, you know, it's like, you don't, if you don't find time for, as an artist, if you don't yeah. find time for yourself, it's crazy. You go mm. crazy. You go crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. one thing people don't know, but as every artist needs time for him or herself. Mm -hmm.